to the 22. Still no score in the Challenge Cup final from Wembley. Stevens with the switch of play. Oh, a solid defence against Stevens. Beautiful hands. Chance. First try. Goes to Wolf George. Halifax in the lead. Tremendous play by Mick Scott. Here's the conversion attempt. There it goes. It's got the distance. It's there. So Halifax in the lead by six points to nil. 15 minutes of play gone in the first half. As we look at this in replay, you'll see the great combination of the second row forwards. Stevens was in there as well. And this pass finally up to Wilf George. He goes over in the corner. 6-0. So Paul Lachlan, the leading point scorer. In a mammoth game against Carlisle in the Lancashire Cup, scoring 40 points from two tries and 16 goals in that match. He's had a tremendous strike rate at 87. How will he handle the Wembley nerves? No trouble whatsoever. So the scoreline changes. Only four points separate the two sides. Halifax, six. Leeds St. Helens, two. Stevens. Edie. Beautiful pass from Edie. But Whitfield claimed in the tackle. Dixon, head down for the line. Here's the final tackle. Watch for McCallion from dummy half. He scored. Seamus McCallion becomes the first Irishman to score a try at Wembley. And a chance for yet another two points via the right boot of Colin Whitfield. Up go the flags. Halifax lead by 12 points to two in the 1987 Wembley Challenge Cup final. Burke on the 22 with the play the ball and the switch of play by Liftrot on the blind side to Andy Platt. He's put Elia through the gap. He's up over halfway. This is a test for Graham Eady. He's got too much pace. Mark Elia scores for St. Helens. And he stood the former Australian fullback up so easily with pace. And the immediate reply by the Saints. It's 12 points to six. And a chance for Lachlan. To make it 12 points to eight. And then we have really got a ball game on our hands here at Wembley. Wait for the crowd. He's kicked it. 12 points to eight. Halifax still lead by four. And Arkwright goes into the second row. Good scrum win. Graham Eady. Graham Eady for the line. Try. Oh, yes. Graham Eady. Great joy and jubilation in the Halifax camp. And I wonder what it's like at the Manly Leagues Club back in Sydney. Well, a tremendous try that. It was great work there from John Pendlebury. He did a good job drawing the taking away two players right out of the game, throwing a good long pass here to Graham Eady, who quite, e you know, quite easily could have been attacked, um, tackled in another situation, but it was just straight determination that got him over under the post. I think it was a magnificent try. There's the kick. Up go the flags, and the scoreline changes once again here at Wembley. I think it was a magnificent try, and it, it's just uh, capped off a, a great 50 minutes that he's played so far. He's, he's had a been one of the most effective players on the park and pleasing to see him get that, those points. Well, here goes Lachlan. Lachlan for the try line and a replay by St. Helens. Paul Lachlan scores his 11th try of the 87th season. Watch for Stevens from dummy half, skirting close to the ruck. He spins it wide. Pendlebury with a drop goal attempt. It's there. 19 points to 12 at Wembley. Round. The trot. Round. Round scores. He's come on his replacement and he's come to move. And he's brought St. Helens back into this cup final. The leading point scorer in the English league makes no mistake. And only one point separate the two sides in a gripping cup final. So could this be St. Helens' last chance? I certainly think it is. To pull this cup final out of the fire. It's all over. Graham Eady did a handstand in the middle of the Wembley Stadium. 
Halifax win their first cup final since 1939.